Hey everybody, so I thought I'd do my update for my cycle, um, June cycle. Sorry, the lack of videos. I've just was not been not really trying for the last month or so. I've been lacking on the videos a bit, trying to put, trying to conceive on the back burner and stuff. So um, I don't think we're too much, and it doesn't upset me that we aren't properly trying anymore. But anyway, um, so cycle started on the 16th of June for this month and um, that was a 30 day cycle so there's still varying between uh, between 25 day cycles to up to 35 to 40 days still all over the place but 30, 28, 30 is about my average the now for cycle length which is it's slowly getting back to better but it could be better um, so that makes me calendar day 9 or 10 I think today and um, obviously we're not not trying not preventing really if it happens then we'll be over the moon but um, obviously I tell it would happen anyway so I'll have a tracker on my phone called P tracker and it says from all my dates that I've been putting in that I'm due to ovulate about the 2nd of July but I don't know if that's going to happen or not because last cycle there it's just been I don't think I ovulated at all that month usually when I ovulate I know because I get really bad pains in my side and like cramps down below and stuff um, when I ovulate so I didn't get any of that last month so I don't think I did ovulate, but well, as I said, we're not really trying, so it's not a big deal. Um, currently, I am in between changing doctors. I've still not done it, but I am planning on changing because the doctors I'm at the now, they're a little. I wouldn't say they're best, like fertility-wise and stuff. They're they just don't give you really good advice and I felt like I was just getting fobbed off of whatever they could think of at the time. So I wanted to change doctors before going through and seeing the specialist and signing up to get the IVF on the IVF list and stuff again. Um, hopefully the doctors, the new doctors that I'm signing up for is actually better than the ones I'm with about fertility treatments and stuff. But one of them, of course, will not know until I go for it. But um, my doctors that I'm at and out did say to come back June, June or July to um, get started with see, getting started with um, getting put referred through for a specialist and then obviously back on the IVF list so I need to get my ass in gear basically and change doctors and obviously start the whole process because as you, if anybody knows fertility treatments, seeing with getting referrals through a specialist in the UK is like can be up to six week wait or even longer, it can be months, months before you actually get referred through to the hospital to see a specialist and then any treatments that they want to redo, um stuff like that. So yeah, I want to be getting on that as soon as possible right now. So that's it for um that cycle. I would say my actual cycles are getting a lot better. They're lasting maybe four days. Um, definitely not as heavy or um, sore as they used to be. A oh, big wasp. Allergic <laughs> to them. So yeah, they're getting better, and I feel a lot better when I've got them rather than basically being in bed resting in agony and can't move with them so that's good that's getting slightly better and um, the only thing I would say that's um, still bad is that um, I can't remember what I was going to say now <laughs> what was I going to say nope it's gone anyway um, so that is it for this month and I will update you next month and let you know cycle length and um, if I ovulate or not, obviously I'm not taking any OV tests or anything like that, so I don't know for sure, but I'm going by the pains 
that I usually get when I ovulate, so if I don't get them then I'm guessing that I didn't ovulate. But apart from that, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.